Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday to you. Hope you guys are doing well today. I'm excited to show you some more beautiful cards featuring the Perennial Lavender Suite from Stampin' Up's January to April mini catalog. It's such a beautiful suite. We need to show all the fun things that you can do with it. So you don't want to miss out on today's live. Um, my name is Laurie DeGroote from Laurie De Marie Crafts, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Calgary. And I come here live on Thursdays so that I can give you fun tips, techniques, and ideas to help you take your paper crafting supplies and turn them into beautiful projects. So I'm totally on a lavender um, craze, <laughs> I guess you could say. There's always like one suite in the catalog that I just kind of get a little obsessed with. Um, and they're not just like one trick ponies, right? You don't just make one set of cards and then that's all you can do with it. So it's fun to kind of just revisit it and see all the different things that you can do with it. Um, one thing that I've done with it is I've made it the highlight of my monthly class. So my February stamp and create class is a to-go class. And so there's no like local event, but you can purchase the class and then I pack everything up for you. And then you get access to a full video tutorial where I take you step by step through the projects and um, you get a PDF of the supply list and all the dimensions that you can follow along easily. Um, and the show is available for anybody. But if you live in Canada, you can also get all the fun products to get with the class too. So I'm going to show you everything now because you have to see it in person. <laughs> I wish we were in person and then we could just talk about it in person, but this is the next best thing. So you've seen me show off the paper, but I'm going to have to show it one more time. So in case you've missed out. So when you get a class, these stamp and create classes, you get half a pack of paper. So you'll get um the cut six by twelve just so I can mail it you can't really mail twelve by twelve easily so you get you know a whole sheet but split in half of every design right so the one side is all this beautiful lavender we're gonna use some of this today but we're focusing more on the bundles today so pretty and then the other side you've got your neutrals your lost lagoon your highland heather your um, kind of craft looking but so so pretty so you get your own so even if you've purchased it it's always good to have a little bit more right you're going to use this paper over and over i promise i like to include card stock so that you have the colors that go with so um, i create a color combination just for you that you can use with your projects so this one is gorgeous grape lost lagoon crumb cake and highland heather and i am not a purple person can i just say like typically I don't gravitate towards purple anything, Gee, but it's so pretty. So if I can be convinced of purple, anybody can be convinced of purple. So you let me know if you love purple normally or if it's not your favorite color, um, but you're going to love these projects. We're going to get some ribbon. So there's this pretty pecan pie stitched ribbon, some Lost Lagoon. You're going to get the purple gems and we're going to also get, because they're amazing, the butterflies just have to mind cut here but you can get half a pack of the butterflies because of course you're going to find butterflies in your lavender right so you need those <laughs> there's some add-ons if you want but you get all the basics and then come see the projects like these are like thick because <laughs> they're stacked these are a fun fold i'm not going to show you all the tricks here you got to get the class but you untie it it opens up i've got pockets i've got different ways that it opens up so there's this pretty one here and there's this one. So I call them elaborate fun folds because they're not just a simple fun fold with one cut or whatever. You've got kind of a few different things to do. So I do all the messy cut work for you. I cut and prep everything, um, except obviously the DSP because you get your own DSP that you get to cut and decide which patterns you want to play with. So you're going to love this. I'm going to um, go to my website, laritamrecrafts.ca, look for February Stamp and Create. Um, on the blog or just contact me and I'll send you the link um, but the registration ends next week so you don't want to miss out on this class it's gonna be so so pretty all right thank you for listening to me if you have any questions about any of my classes feel free to contact me let's get to our crafting today I'm gonna to go down to my desk here and we'll just move some of this stuff out of the way so today I am going to be showing off the bundles a little bit because I haven't actually used them before. Um, so they're so amazing. They're unique. So this is a bundle. This is a suite that has the DSP. Um, it's got the gems and it's got two bundles. So it's kind of what 
I don't know. I think there's a word for, I always forget the word, but, <laughs> but it's kind of like this extra sweet because it's got more things in it. So the painted lavender, the dyes are on back order right now, but just briefly, I think till March 4th, the week of March 4th. But this is the stamp set. So you've got all these pretty um, images and then you're going to see the dies. So you've got the open dies that coordinate, of course, with all your stamps. Plus you've got three pieces that just kind of cut out. So that's what we're gonna be using today because these cards I'm making today are my next card kit to go. So I need to create a kit that I can create for you and that you can make on your own. Um, so we're gonna have these die cut images in our one card today. And then here's the second bundle. So it goes along so perfectly because it's all sentiments, right? So that one's all images, obviously. This one's all sentiments. And they're so fun. They're like, they're just different than some other ones, right? You're simply marvelous. Like, don't you want to send a card that, with that to somebody? <laughs> You're simply marvelous. I can't thank you enough. You mean the world to me. There's Happy Mother's Day. Um, so this can take you through Easter and into kind of more spring holidays um, that are coming up as well. And so then this one's Cling Mount. Um, but then you get all these postage stamp dies. So you've got the largest shape here. Let me just pull it out. So you've got two large rectangles and then you've got smaller ones. You've got some rectangles and then you've got a couple squares and then um, this cute little tag piece here. So all the options you need for all your sentiments. You've got two ways to turn them into tags. So that's cute. And then you've got this little postage stamp. I'm going to show you the postage stamp because you've got to see it. Um, it doesn't cut out, but it indents it like a real postage stamp. I think I got upside down. I think there's a butterfly on it. Can you see that? It's so cute. <laughs> How can you resist that? So that's so fun. So that's what we're going to be showing off today. So let's get to our first card. And these are also pretty layouts that I think that you could take and use um, with this suite. You're obviously going to want this suite, right? <laughs> but you can save this idea also for all your favorite products. So we're going to take a piece of pool party. So I've chosen pool party to brighten up our cards and give them a different look than just all the purple for this one. I'm going to cut it the long way here in half at four and a quarter. And we're going to score these in half at five and a half. And we're going to use both of these. So one card is going to be this way. And then I'm going to score this one at five and a half. And then this is going to be our second card that we'll use this way just to use the whole piece of cardstock there. So we've got that. Then I wanted to create my first card instead of going all in on the purple, like I said, because my class, my class, my stamp and create class going all in on the purple. It's going to be beautiful. Um, but so I thought it'd be fun to play off the greens. So there is shaded spruce and pretty peacock in here and lost lagoon and those colors look so lovely together so we're going to use this pattern here which is actually on the back of one of these ones um, with the lavender and we want it to be four inches by two and a half i'm pretty sure do you know that i didn't write down my dimensions today so we're gonna like hope for the best maybe we'll make it a little big just in case I think it's two and a half, but we're going to make it two and three quarters. <laughs> then I've used Pretty Peacock a lot with this suite, but I'm going to pull out the shaded spruce this time. Um, it's a bit brighter, right? So it's a different look. So I've got a half inch strip here of shaded spruce. And then I want a piece of basic white. And this is going to be four inches. And then it doesn't really matter how long it is. So this one is, you know, about three and a quarter because there'll be some overlapping as you put it onto the front of your card. So that's what we're going to cut out there. Okay. And then we're going to layer this up. So I'm going to keep this blank, but I'm going to show you that we can stamp and create a background as well. So I'm going to show you that after we put some things together here. You could also add texture to this. Like if you don't just want solid white, you could run this through a um, embossing folder, which I'm going to do on my second card just to show you a couple of different ideas. So let's put the basic white on first. 
And I'm just going to use my stamp and seal. And I was thinking, I've noticed that this time of year, I start to really lean in to summery products and color schemes. <laughs> I do a blog post every Saturday with other group of ladies. And I've noticed I started gravitating towards bright color combinations. I think February, I'm kind of over winter, even though our winter hasn't been that bad. Um, but I really start to crave kind of all the summery things. So of course lavender makes me feel, makes me think of summertime. Okay, so we're just gonna layer those three pieces up like that to keep the base for our card. And now we're gonna build up our little lavender um, vignette almost, right? So then <laughs> I've cut out a piece of the DSP here. So you've got a few great like neutral patterns in this DSP, right? So you've got the bold on one side and then the more neutral on this one. So this one's got like a little leaf pattern in it. So I've just gone ahead and cut out a circle with my stylish shape size, which are a great staple to have, right? You've got your circles. I use these all the time, all the time. So this is the second largest circle. So that's gonna go there. And then we're going to cut out our um, lavender pieces. So for this one, we're showing off the painted lavender dies. And so this one, Cuts out two pieces of lavender at once. And so I'm going to use Gorgeous Grape, which is a color, I got to admit, does not get used a lot in my collection. <laughs> so it's been fun to bust out colors that I don't normally use and see how pretty it looks in this color combination, right? Like, I'm not sure I would have paired this all together, but once you see them in the DSP, I love it with the Lost Lagoon and the greens. It's so pretty. So I'm just using my kind of regular sandwich here. Platforms one, two, three, and then the die and the cardstock. And so I'm just gonna show you that, that way I cut out, but the rest I've already done. So you don't have to watch me die cutting forever. And then if ever they stick in your um, die, grab your take or pick tool, something pokey, and then just poke it through the holes and then it should come out fairly easily there. And then if anything ever gets stuck too, then you can clean out the holes of your die and get those all those little pieces out. So there's the first part of our lavender. And then I'm going to use just one. Save this for the second card. And then I've gone ahead and cut it out in um, Highland Heather as well. So this is just a lighter purple, but the tones look awesome together. So let's just use the opposite ones. We'll save that for the next card. And then I've gone ahead and cut out this die piece in Lost Lagoon, which ends up looking like this, right? And so you just start layering things up. And then we've got this fun piece and this I've cut out. So this is obviously the lavender stems, which are kind of like evergreen looking, right? Like a rosemary or something. Um, so that's that. I've cut it out in shaded spruce. And then we're just going to create a little packet together. <laughs> so if you, whatever kind of glue that you like to put this kind of stuff together, I just prefer glue dots sometimes because I can just go ahead and plunk everything into a glue dot. Oops. And then go from there. But liquid glue is also great. So the Tombow or something like that. So let's get this ready to go. So I'm going to put this on first with some dimensionals, which I think I've got somewhere. I usually have a stash, right? I've got to open another package. I've got some pieces here and some scissors. So I'll just cut up the pieces here. Remember to use up all your dimensionals. Don't forget about the edges. <laughs> These actually might be from a paper pumpkin. If I don't use up all the ones in my paper pumpkin box, I just put them with my regular stash so that I can use them. And then I'm gonna put mine off to the side like this. 
And we're going to layer up our little collection of lavender dyes. So we'll start with the shaded spruce. And then the Highland Heather. Ooh, can you see that? Sorry. And then we'll put the gorgeous grape on top. And then our sweet little Lost Lagoon there. And the depth of it, when you've got the light and dark colors together, then that looks really good. And then this is just needing some linen thread, right? So just to keep with that natural look, I think to tie that in somewhere else is good. And I'm just gonna do, I love to just take all twine and linen thread and just kind of fold it back and forth. Like a fake bow in a sense, right? Without actually having to do the work of tying the bow, <laughs> which can be stressful to do on camera. It's like all of a sudden you forget how to tie a bow. Okay, and then I'm gonna just pop that there. And all we have to do now is layer our sentiment on top. So, so many great sentiments with the perennial postage stamp set. I wanted one of the long ones. So I decided to go with a thank you for your friendship. So we'll just pull that one off, grab a block. And this time I'm just gonna stamp in black, but um, any of the colors in this paper would look good as well. Oh, I'm gonna some paper, I guess. I've just got a half inch strip. I save all these strips when I'm cutting, say basic white for the inside of my card. There's always these half inch strips left over. So I just save them. And then we just stamp it on there. Let's close that up. And my favorite little go-to is to angle it like that. So that's so much easier than when you make like the little pennant banner shape where you're always frustrated because you didn't do it straight. So I just snip it off at an angle. It looks a little fancy with a lot less effort. <laughs> so that's what I like to do. So I'm just going to lay this over top, kind of like so. So you kind of need a dimensional at the one end and then you could dimension on the other end too, or um, maybe just some glue dots because this is already puffed up. So if you want it to be even, so maybe I'll just try a couple of glue dots and see how that turns out. And then we'll just layer this. And it kind of looks like a banner because it's weaving over all our little pieces there. And then we'll fold it in half. And then if you've got the embellishments, you definitely want to add those on, right? So um, I don't have the purple gems, otherwise I would totally put them on. But let's, because I've got the butterflies out. I feel like it's wanting the butterflies. If you don't, okay, if you don't have the butterflies yet, tuck it into your next order. They're just, I just love them. <laughs> I love them, so cute. So that is our first card. So I said that I would show you what it looks like with um, stamping. So I have where's my piece of paper. So let's just show you. So you could take your paper and grab one of these images to create a little background. So I'm going to take this one here and let's ink it up in Highland Heather just because it's not quite as dark as Gorgeous Grape. Um, so we don't want it to totally take over. I thought I cut one to four. That's about four. Let's use this one. Nope, this is for my other card. <laughs> it's like, what am I doing? Okay. Let's ink this up. Let's cut this to four. We've got a paper trimmer. Let's just cut this up so that you can see what I wanted to do here. And now I'm just gonna stamp one in the middle. And then just fill in the sides. And you could stamp off too if you wanted these second ones um, a little lighter, then that would look good too. And then I was gonna do this before I attached it all, but then I forgot. I wonder if I could pull it off a little bit. I can fix it later. So picture it 
with that behind, right? It looks really pretty. So if you didn't like just the plain white and you've got the stamp set, um, then you could tuck that in behind. I think that looks really pretty. You could also do a different image. There's this one here where it is um, Lost Lagoon and the more branchy kind of like looking one. So that's just a simple way that you can step up this card with some stamping. So that is our first card. Let's close this up and let's make our second one. So for this second one, I wanted to bring in a little bit brighter of a color. So the first one I focused on the blues, not the blue, well, blue with the pool party, I guess, and the greens just to make it look a little different. And so for this one, I am adding in a little bit of Berry Burst. So there actually is Berry Burst in the DSP. So let me show you some of the patterns here. So this bright pinky purpley color that you're catching in some of the DSP is Berry Burst. Um, and so I thought, let's just kind of focus on that for this card. So I'm going to add on a layer here. So I've got Berry Burst cut to five and a quarter by four. And then we're going to put some basic white on. But this time I want to add some texture to it. So this is another thing you can do if you don't just want the plain basic white. So I just cut this an eighth of an inch smaller. So that means it's five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. And I'm going to use this really pretty basket weave 3D embossing folder. And so you just line it up along the black line that's on the bottom. So that's how you know you get your pattern straight. And then we'll grab our stamp and cut and emboss machine again. And then the sandwich is so easy for embossing folders. So I just need number one, folder with the hinge, and then you need plate four. And all your plates come with your stamp and cut and emboss machine. So everything comes with it that you need to create. So that's perfect. And then that easily runs through, right? So you don't want to be fighting. If you're fighting really hard with your machine, you've got too thick at the sandwich. So you've got to figure out how to get it so it runs in smooth. So the Stampin' Up stuff, it's all made to go with its product. So it works out really great. So let's just show you. I haven't used this folder for a while, but it's got great texture. So I like the way, I think the basket weave is perfect for the lavender. So let's go ahead and put these on together. And I'm going to use my Seal Plus with the texture, just so I've got some extra sticky. And sometimes with cards, you just gotta go a little slow so the Seal Plus doesn't like grab onto your paper and start ripping it. So then we're gonna mat it on that very burst. And when you have an eighth of an inch mat instead of a quarter of an inch, then it's just a little more subtle, right? So you've just got that hint of that color behind. So that's just what I went for today. And then we'll put this on the front of our card. Oh, see, sometimes you gotta go a bit slower with the CL Plus because it starts to grab your paper. There we go. Because it's so sticky, <laughs> which is good. You want it to be sticky. And then this should fit Matt on the front of our card. So then let's add a bit of DSP. So sometimes when I'm designing a card, I literally just use the scraps that I have. So I've been making a lot of projects. So I had scraps lying around. So I just cut things to size. I'm like, oh, well, I've got this scrap and I've got this scrap. Oh, that looks good. So <laughs> sometimes that's how I design a card. So this one, um, again, is one of the more neutral patterns, the little kind of gingham. And so this is cut to the same size as the white. So it's five and one eighth. And it is an inch and a quarter, I think. Yes, an inch and a quarter wide. And then I need this piece to be, and I'm just gonna double check. Sorry, I've got my sample here. You don't wanna sneak peek quite yet. So it is three and a half by two and a half. Loving the butterflies. You know what? I will add the butterflies to this card too so that we have lots of butterflies. <laughs> yes. So let's go ahead and put these on and then we'll make our little um, lavender vignettes again. So I've got my strip here and we're just going to kind of put on the bottom third. And just try to line it up with your pattern so that it's straight. 
And then I'm going to use dimensionals to pop this up. So we'll put that on. So sometimes when you have a busy pattern of DSP, you can make it the star or you can just kind of make it um, like the secondary feature, right? So this one just has a, these cards just have a hint of the DSP as yeah, so some of the other ones I did where it was more all about the DSP. And then we're gonna create our little vignette again with our lavender. So I've already got pieces. So we've got the shaded spruce like before. I have the Highland Heather piece in Gorgeous Grape because you cut out two at once. So I've got those handy. And then I went ahead and also cut out Berry Burst. And so I'm just going to use one of those. And so this time I didn't add the Lost Lagoon in. I added in the Berry Burst, right? So then you just get a slightly different look. So let's go with what we did before and put these all in our glue dots. And then we can layer it up on our card. And you can always add more glue dots too if you find it's not attached to your card enough for you. And we're going to put it to the side here. And then all you need to do is make sure that it's not poking off the end of your card. You could also trim it if it's sticking out too much. So you can kind of put it at an angle maybe. So I'm gonna put the very first on first, then the Highland Heather, and then the gorgeous grape. We're gonna do the same thing with our twine. So you can see how you can do similar techniques, but just change up, say, one little thing on your card. And all of a sudden it looks completely different, right? This one doesn't look like the other one. I've got a slightly different color scheme, but I'm doing the twine the same. I'm doing the lavender dyes the same. And so we're going to put that there. And this time we're going to do a different sentiment. So we are going to need a piece of basic white, <laughs> which I'm hoping I have somewhere. I'll just have to there, at least everything's within arm's reach of my craft room here, so I can reach it. And then we're going to um, cut out with the perennial postage dies. So like I said, you've got all these great postage shapes. Um, so we're going to use the third largest in this set here. And I am going to make mine a Happy Mother's Day card. Because I think this card is perfect for that time of year. So. But you could definitely just make it a friendship card, a birthday card, like use the You're Simply Marvelous and then turn it into a birthday card. I think that would look good. Okay, platform one, two, and three, your cutting plates. And then our postage die. And let's cut this out. And I'm gonna stamp after, but you could always stamp first and then cut it out. Whatever you like. So let's grab that. And we're going to stamp in Berry Burst this time, just to keep that little hint of Berry Burst going through our card. Grab the Mother's Day, ink it up. And then I just try to make sure my die is straight on my desk and then stamp. And then we just need some more dimensionals again, which like I said, I gotta restock. Where, where did they all go? I got little ones. We'll just use some little ones. Okay. Put some dimensionals on and then we'll layer that up there. So you could do any of the sentiments. You could go back to doing one of the long ones. They would all look good on this card. And then all we gotta do is we gotta add butterflies. It's been requested. <laughs> so maybe this time we tuck them into the lavender a bit. That would look cute too. 
All right. And there is our second card. And it just opens this way because I just cut the um, cardstock that long ways to get this kind of card that stands up, right? And there's our two cards. So these become my Painted Lavender card kit to go. So when you make a purchase of $60 or more using my current host code, I send you all the supplies to make these cards. So three of each one. And so then you can have the fun of putting these together and then making them for your friends and sending them out in the mail. So let's just come up here for a second. So thanks for, so much for hanging out with me today and watching these cards. I hope I gave you some ideas of more things you can do with the Perennial Lavender Suite. And if you're taking the time to watch the replay, I always really appreciate that you do that. I hope that you like and um, like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on ones in the future. And don't forget about my February Stamp and Create class where you can have more fun with this lovely suite and you can make some more elaborate projects with it than just some simple cards. So you're going to have a lot of fun with that. If you have any questions or need to reach me, you can find all information at larisamariecrafts.ca. So thank you so much. You guys, I'm actually going to take a break next Thursday. So it is my husband's birthday. So I'm taking the day off. And then I will be back here on February the 29th because we got an extra day. So it all works out for February. So I still get my four um, sessions in here in February. So I will look forward to seeing you then and I hope you guys take care. Until then, bye-bye.